Hey guys, welcome to the channel today. I am here with Oxlit, who is the pro of all pros, and we have a legendary king's chest on the line with our battles that we're going to be doing today. Hey Oxlit, man, what's up? How's it going, Knight? Glad to be on the channel. Dude, I am so glad to have you on the channel. Uh, I really appreciate you coming by. How has your day been going so far? I've been having a great day. Just been playing some nice grand challenges, having some fun, experimenting with decks. It's been a pretty good day. Dude, that's awesome. Is that pretty much what makes up your day? I mean, do you just play Clash Royale all day? Uh, I wouldn't say all day, but I do play probably at least uh, two to three hours every day. Once competitions and uh, tournaments pop up, usually more like five to six hours a day. So it definitely invests a lot of my time. Wow. That's, I mean, almost like a full-time job now with YouTube, of course, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really is. Pretty much. So what do your, what do your parents think of you doing this now? Uh, my parents actually like it. They're really big supporters of it, uh, pretty much since the beginning, ever since I qualified last spring, and it's been turning out really well, so I think they're proud of me for it. Dude, that's absolutely awesome, dude. I wish I could, like, make my parents proud of me somehow. <laughs> <laughs> like that. That's awesome. That is so cool. Uh, sweet. So I, I mean, I saw, like, Music Master, right? You know him, I guess, his parents. He really didn't tell his parents about it at all when he started playing, and he, he, I guess he got really far in the tournaments before he actually told him that he was playing Clash Royale mm -hmm. so but you told your parents day one right uh no they knew that I played the game like very very casually and then once I qualified it was kind of a surprise for them because I just kind of randomly told them hey I'm gonna be going to California next week and they're like what and then I told them all about it so <laughs> that's awesome dude that's pretty good and, and coming home with that check didn't hurt much either did no. it <laughs> no <laughs> not at awesome. all that was actually my first plane flight as well so it was quite an experience Dude, wow, that is awesome. That is sweet, man. No, dude, you really do good at the game, and uh, I really appreciate you coming on here. Uh, for your, those of you guys who don't know Oxlet, I mean, he has a YouTube channel. By all means, I'll put his link in the description, and go check him out, dude. He, he does some sweet videos on decks, on how to make plays, and he's really good. So if you guys actually want somebody who knows what they're talking about as far as playing Clash Royale, Go check him out. He will help you out with that. And he was gracious enough to um, hear me out and come on my channel and hopefully give me a few tips so that I can start actually playing a little bit better. I don't think I'll be competing on his level anytime soon, but you never know, Oxlet. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Maybe next week. <laughs> I figure one game I'll probably be like semi-pro and then after that, you don't want to probably train me for two games because then I'll be all pro. So. Yeah, too much, too much. Just one. <laughs> Just one, thanks. <laughs> thanks, man. I really appreciate it. <laughs> so what we're going to do today, I'll, we'll get right into it. We won't talk too much more, but Oxlet has a deck that he's going to be using, and I am going to go ahead and watch him use that deck. And then we'll flip around. Oxlet will go ahead and watch me use that same deck, and hopefully I can do it as well as him. Um, he'll give me some tips along the way, and I'll kind of watch him. He's going to be talking all during that first match, telling us what he's doing, why he's doing it, and I'll try and learn as much as I can. And then the third match, I'm going to go ahead and take Oxlet on. He will pick some, I don't know, some deck that will help me have a chance to win, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> and hopefully I can beat him so that we can open up that legendary king's chest, because it's going to be absolutely awesome. So let's get into it. Why don't you, right. uh, yeah, start a match. I guess, are you in a ground challenge right now? Uh, yeah, I'm joining right now. Uh, it's loading right now. Okay. All right, I'm in the game now. Okay, let me go ahead. I'll hit spectate, and then we can watch you and just, yeah, this is all you. Just tell us what's going on, and I will learn from you right now. This is me learning. <laughs> All right, so our starting hand is pretty good. If you start with Goblin Hunt, you definitely want to start with it. Uh, he's actually using a level 6 Barbarian Hut, so this tells me this guy's probably a little bit under-leveled, uh, and he's probably not too, too experienced, uh, just based on that uh, Barbarian Hut right there. Okay, so this will work out well for you. This yeah. will make you look really good. Uh, no, right here, no, probably no, just going to put my Flying Machine down. Uh, we might actually cycle a Miner on that Barbarian Hut, just to take a little bit of it out. Unfortunately, it looks like he's using some kind of spawner deck, which is never that fun to face. No, dude, I absolutely hate him. Oh, so nice poison. thing, though, okay. about this deck is you get so much poison value on spawner decks. It does really well against them. Oh, yeah. So would you always, I mean, always poison buildings whenever you get a chance, or 
Uh, usually you, you want to try to get a little bit more value because if they have something like the Golem Night Witch deck going around, they can then put their Golem down and then you don't have poison for that. So I would say, generally speaking, unless you have absolutely nothing in hand, to try to get a little bit more value first. Okay. So kind of see what they're doing. If they throw something else out there, use it for exactly. sure. Okay. Yeah. Right on. Usually try to catch something else with that poison as well. Yeah. If you can. Oh, Hunter, right on. Level one. He's rocking level, level one. one. <laughs> this this poor man right here. <laughs> I know, dude. That is awesome. That is classic. Yeah, I'm trying to space things out so the Hunter doesn't get too much value, but uh, it's not the highest level of Hunter, so I mean, it should be too difficult. His level one splash can't be like hurting too many of your troops. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't even know if it would take a goblin out. Maybe it would. Yeah, so this deck is very slow moving. You're not going to take a tower in one push almost ever. Uh, usually, once it gets to double elixir, then you start spamming a little bit more, and then it starts to kind of overwhelm. But uh, before then, it's kind of more like a chip deck. Okay. And then defense definitely first, or what do you think? Do you ever definitely go on the defense. offensive? Okay, so you never go offensive until maybe double elixir or what? Yeah, either that, or if they put something really elixir expensive, like a Mega Knight on the opposite lane, or something like that at the beginning. But otherwise, you kind of want to see what they have, and then wait for a good opportunity to attack. Okay. Oh, oh man. he's playing an Expo. Expo. Right on. Ow. Yeah, this is not going to get through, though. <laughs> no. <laughs> Dude, I've seen, and I've watched a couple of your other videos. Do you always, I mean, you always are throwing that Miner behind the Expos, if you can, just to get that Expo down as fast as possible, right? Yeah, so you okay. can use other ways to uh, uh, destroy the Expo, like an Inferno Dragon or something like that, but typically in the beginning you just want to be sure that it doesn't lock on. It's just not worth it because you don't know what cards they have, so usually just throw a Miner to Poison, and then if you have Ice Golem or something like that to distract it, that's usually how I take care of it. Okay, right on. Well, let's see how well I do. Hopefully right. I can do just as well as that. I'm, I'm kind of hoping to go up against a level 1 Hunter as well. So let's see. <laughs> let's That's see. Make, sh make sure I have the right deck selected. And then I am in a grand challenge as well. So let me. It's loading right now. All right. Going in. Okay. Oh, against the well. Shadow Warriors. So this is somewhat same arena as you played on just now. So I did start out with the Goblin Hut. So I'm going to go ahead and start with that, right? Yep. Put it right in the middle. Okay. Uh, usually in the beginning, I actually put it one tile back. Even though that does defend against both sides, this deck has really good defense against Hog Rider, so I usually like to keep it a little bit lower. In the okay. Beginning. And then what do I do? Goblin Barrel? I, I think I just used too much Elixir. Um, you could have just zapped that out. That probably would have... And then just let it go to town? Okay. Honestly, it's that you didn't make a bad play there. It was fine. <laughs> and so what do I do with Princess? Do I just let her kind of get closer, or do I... I have Poison, Miner, Ghost in my hand right now. Okay, uh, I would go with either a Miner or a Ghost for the Princess. It's not okay. going to quite take it out. It doesn't really matter which one. I would probably have actually used a Ghost right there. Just oh, because then, then it would have went, went to the tower. And his Ghost is coming in. Yeah. I got Ice Golem, so I'm going to use Ice Golem just for that Definitely Goblin gang. Ice and then and Ghost right behind it. it, right? Yep, Ghost right there, okay. right in front of it, right in front of it. Oh, see, right there in that situation, you had to put it right in front of it for the Ice oh, okay. Golem, because then it locked on your tower and I became see. invisible again. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> So I got Goblin Hut. I'm sitting at seven elixir. Goblin Hut. Oh, he's using. I know what he. I know exactly what deck he's using, dude. He's I played this. Using, yeah, he's using deck the like, deck I just made a video about. <laughs> oh, are you serious, dude? So yeah. I don't know what to do right now because Goblin I'm. Hunt. I'm Goblin gonna go minor right here. Is that? Oh, I had to block oh. that thing. I don't know if that was good or bad. That was probably bad. Okay, yeah. should I poison that princess? Yeah, poison that princess. You're not okay. looking that bad yet. Okay. So, so and then princes, I'm gonna go. Yeah. Against princes, usually you want it. You want the prince to hit one of the goblins and then put the oh, miner okay. right behind the goblin. That way, the miner right. still have a lot of health. I'm gonna zap that out. Oh crap! Tower oh. locked on the ghost. That that's was the problem. Take the tower. Yeah, that's over right there. <laughs> okay, so I no see problem. what I did wrong there. I I absolutely hate playing against this deck. This is a really good deck, and I have played it against it a couple times. I absolutely, it's really good. So that's it awesome. Is, it is. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go ghost right in the middle, and then I think I'm gonna put another. I'm gonna go flying machine behind the behind the ghost. Mm -hmm. Yep, okay. That's the right move. And then I'm gonna go miner up there in the corner on that 
uh, on that tower just to get more damage, I guess, and then poison the princess. Free poison, yep. Okay, crap. I think I missed the princess. Don't get mad at me. Oh, man. <laughs> Don't get mad. Yeah, so in that situation, you probably should have poisoned the ice wizard instead, just because at this point, you really need damage. Yep, exactly. Okay, that makes sense. Now, now that you say it out loud, I'm kind of... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to take this tower over here somehow. Some way, I'm going to get... This. You got it. No, I know. I have faith in myself right here. I'm going to go just minor, just to get really aggressive on this guy. And then, I don't know, maybe we shouldn't use the Goblin Hut, but I'm going to go Royal Ghost right there. <laughs> we just got to get this tower done. Hopefully he just ignores it. Right side. Oh, yeah, man. I got the right side. Block that. Holy cow. Crap, get there. Poison. Come on. Oh, One shot. <laughs> wow. That was Stop absolutely here. nuts. I, dude, I'm still way alive. What are you talking about? <laughs> this is so hard to, like focus and then listen to you because you obviously know what's going on you see my plays but it's really hard in double elixir to listen to somebody and play at yeah. the same time i hope that guy doesn't wipe out my tower pretty much oh, he has no, it. No, no. crap he does not have a big spell though so that's good if you go like super aggressive i'm right gonna now, go super that's go what i'm doing i'm going crazy aggressive I'm trying to get another ice golem over here for that prince oh. wow no way. What a sh I, I'm gonna. Oh crap, I got nothing. Oh, he's gonna log you out. Yep, I he's think gonna... this might be over. Oh, fetch. That was really close, though. Oh my that gosh. Comeback. That comeback that was, was insane, though. That, that was, was clutch, close. right? Okay, so I think if I would have focused just a little bit more in the beginning, I think I might have had that. And I think we could have mm -hmm. knocked that thing out of the park. <laughs> yeah. Also, you... I will give you one small tip. Um, yeah, what's I that? like inside miners. People almost never predict them, ever. Oh, dude, I was watching that when you clad with Pat. Uh, I know exactly what tile you're talking about. I do. So yeah. right on the inside front corner, basically, right? Uh-huh. Yep. That's okay. the one. All right. That's what I'm going to do. Are you ready for this? All right. So am I selecting a random deck? I yeah, guess why don't you... my eyes not look. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you go ahead and pick some... Um, I'm not going to say crappy. <laughs> but pick a deck from... Yeah, like you're saying, or maybe Arena 1, Arena 2, that I might have half a chance against. All right, I'll do the very first arena. So we're looking at some pretty subpar decks right here. I'm okay. going to cover up my screen so Perfect. I can't see. Okay, here we go. Look away a little bit. And I'm going to randomly select one. Not looking, not looking. I'm going to go with this one. Perfect. And try not to look. Uh, copy that. All right, I don't know what I'm playing right now. It probably looked like from my point of view that I did see it, but I actually did not see the deck. No, so. we know you didn't see it. We know you didn't see it. Excellent. All right. Oh, we could do ramp up battle. That would be crazy, right? Oh, we, we can't can do if you want. Or is that uh, what what is that format? Do you know? Um, oh, I I clicked on it. Don't click on that. Let's see. I think that's where they go. One elixir, two elixir, three elixir. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's that just, makes sense. Let's just do one v one, I guess. <laughs> okay, that works. <laughs> or we could do whatever you want, but that works right, out let's great. Let's see uh, what what this uh, monstrosity is that I'm using. I don't think I have any spells in this deck at all. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Dude, I started out with my precious hut. Oh, I'm not going to tell you. Never mind. Oh, crap. Did I go one tile too far forward again? Uh, yeah, just a little Dang bit. It. I keep uh, doing that. That is just It's not amateur. bad, though. It's not a bad right. placement. It's right. just what my personal preference is. So I'm going to go... Okay, here we go. I got this. I got a plan. I got a plan against you. I'm not worried. <laughs> Please. Oh, you have the royal ghost. Yes. Of course. That is going to be clutch. Clutch. All right, and then we'll just go... Oh, Smart play. Good fireball. Good fireball. Here we thank go. You, thank you. <laughs> We're gonna go. <laughs> My main goal in life is to take that Valkyrie out. And then I'm gonna go. Okay. I know you told me what corner to go in, so I went in the other corner. <laughs> Hoping that you didn't catch that thing. Come on. Get that on that tower. That's there log you go. On. There we go. On. And then I'll just go. Yeah. <laughs> Sad face. <laughs> I got a lucky lock on that thing. Alright, so let's go, and then I'm just gonna... Oh, flip. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. No! Horrible play on my part. Okay. I got a plan, though. I have this neat little thing that I've never used before. The thing is, oh, I have absolutely nothing for that. Are you serious? Oh, that deck. worked out really only, well for me. The only air defense I have in this deck is the Spear Goblins. Oh, dude, that is brutal. <laughs> that is brutal. Oh, that was a pretty good place. Okay, I see what you did there. Stopped it from locking on the tower. Is it going to lock? Oh, wow. Actually, really good play, man. You know what you're doing. This is crazy. <laughs> man, I thought, dude, I, I thought he was locked on the tower for sure, but sure enough, nope. Didn't lock on the tower. 
So yeah, people are I using don't, I don't these think decks. I'm coming back from this though. No, this people are difficult. people are using these decks in Arena One. That's cool. Mm -hmm. I for, you know you forget what it's like to play with cards. Oh wow, nice nice job. Ooh, that actually might get somewhere. Huh? I'm gonna go ahead and zap that. Hopefully it doesn't get. Oh, it might get there. No! <laughs> wow. That mini pack almost got there. Nice job. Okay, I see what. Good play. I'm gonna have to go like that, I guess. Because oh, nice poison. Nice I didn't poison. have anything else to do. Yeah, I couldn't. Wow. It'd be nice if I had a zap spell, but uh, fortunately I do not. Yeah, <laughs> a zap or an e whiz or anything, even some zappies you'd take right now. <laughs> do you have any decks that use zappies in right now? Uh, I have one. It's like a log bait kind of deck, but uh -huh. that's pretty much the only one. Oh, that was a horrible minor. My my fault. I tried to get the ice golem down first so I could tank a little bit for the miner, but did not work out for me. Let's go like this, and then, ooh, I may have screwed up pretty big. I just don't know, I'm just spamming troops. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I don't even, I'm, I have no game plan. I'm just like, oh. I got this, though. I don't have much of a game plan I know. with this deck. There's really not much. <laughs> That's all right, dude. That mini, that mini peck is oh, killing that man. tower. Holy cow. I gotta refocus, dude. I gotta get to your tower somehow. Alright, let's go. Boom. <laughs> and then... Okay. I'm gonna go roll a ghost in the back. Here we go. <laughs> I get... It's pathetic, really, that I haven't taken your tower down and that you're still doing, like, this well, though, given this deck that you have. I mean, that doesn't say a lot for my skill level at all. <laughs> But I'm okay with that. I've come to accept that. Alright, so let's go... Okay. Wow, you're doing... Oh my gosh. Wow, I can't get anything on you. This is nuts. Defending for my life right Dude, now. Dude, I feel like... <laughs> I feel like any other person would have taken your tower by now, but I haven't, so... Here, what... Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this differently now. I'm just gonna keep going like that. That's what we're gonna start doing. That's, we're going to just chip away that way, but holy cow, you got kind of a big push coming, and I don't really... I can stop all that. I'm pretty dang sure. Oh, wow, that's coming in pretty hot. Dude, if you beat me... <laughs> oh, my gosh, dude. Don't... <laughs> wow, both lanes, dude. Are you kidding me? Oh, no! Oh, wait, wait. oh, no! I just had to eat all that, too. I just ate it all. I'm like, what? Oh, and then you know what you're doing there, too. Oh, you knew wow. exactly what I was doing. Wow, that yep. hurts. That Thank hurts really badly. There. Come on, take that thing out somehow. Somehow. Oh crap. Oh, oh crap. Scream. <laughs> that was my only... <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> Don't tell my wife that that just happened. <laughs> she might lose a little respect. <laughs> So what that about was, that chest? Uh, any dude, that was pretty bad. Up, you know what? I feel so bad, and I don't want to lead people on, so you know what? I think that's a great idea. Let's just kind of forget that ever happened. Let's go ahead and let's open <laughs> up that chest, because... We'll say uh, you won the early game. You had more damage most of the game, so that counts. Wow! That is crazy. You just, like, went and split-laned me, and I got all distracted, and then I, like, lost all hope in humanity and got smoked. Wow, that is really embarrassing. Wow, that's yeah. awesome, that's dude. That's kind of what I was trying to do, somehow confuse you so you didn't dude, know that... what to use. And then when I noticed you use your zap, I just went all in with the dude, Valkyrie that was good. skeleton armor. Dude, I forgot you had that fireball, too. I'm like, oh, maybe I can still do Oh, fireball. Okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, we're going to open up. Let's open up this Legendary King's Chest anyway. I'll kind of let you pick which ones I get because I failed horribly. So <laughs> I'm opening this thing up. Holy cow. Well, I got a lot of gold, so there's that, at least, you know? And then we got some fireball, oh, fireball and wizards. Obviously, we're going to take the fireball, because that's fireball, what I just lost to. Definitely. <laughs> that was my God. winning spell. <laughs> <laughs> Hog rider or giant? As a pro, uh, where are you that's at? A, that's a tough one. Both are pretty equally good cards. I would say hog rider is probably a little bit better for ladder, and I would say giant's probably a little bit better for tournament standard, so... It really depends on which one you're going for. Well, I'm way past tournament standards, so let's go ahead and take the hog, so maybe I can get some trophies this season. There you go. <laughs> um, musketeer or the furnace? Oh, wow, okay. Uh, I would go with musketeer for ladder and furnace for tournament standard. Okay, ladder it is. Obviously, I don't think I've ever won, besides like the special events, I don't think I've ever won a grand challenge all the way through, as you can tell. Oh, really? 
<laughs> You'll get there. You'll get there. Someday. Okay, so we got Flying Machine, Mini P.E.K.K.A. Uh, personally, I like Flying Machine more. That, I'm going to say Flying Machine is definitely a lot better um, for tournament standard. For ladder, I'm going to have to go with Mini P.E.K.K.A. Oh, crap. I already picked the Flying Machine because you well, talked so fine. much about I it. Love I love machine, the Flying so. Machine. I absolutely <laughs> love it. My Knight's Max, and I got a Mortar level 1, so those are my other two choices. So I gotta take the mortar, obviously. Yeah, I go and with the mortar. <laughs> level one, so hopefully we can get that up to level two next week. Um, ooh, lightning or cannon cart? I would go with the cannon cart. Both yeah. are kind of a little bit underwhelming in this meta, but right. I like the cannon cart a little bit more. That's exactly where I was headed. Perfect. And for the legendary, what do we have? Okay, oh, come man. on, baby, pop this bad boy up. <laughs> give me another ghost. Come on, give me something sweet. It's still spinning. Oh, okay. So, Graveyard and Night Witch. Not too bad, you okay. know, but it is okay. what it is. Yeah, whichever one you want more. I mean, You know, my, my Night Witch is almost level 4. I'm going to go ahead and grab that since I'm so far away on my Graveyard, it doesn't even matter. So, 6 out of 10, level awesome. 3. Sweet. <laughs> That's awesome. Holy cow. Thank you so much for uh, coming on the channel today. I hope you, <laughs> I hope you had fun <laughs> wasting me. Making no me problem. Thank you don't so worry, much my, for having me. Don't worry, my overlay is going to totally paint the picture of a noob right here, so <laughs> we'll make sure that happens. But thank you so much for coming on the channel today. Do you have anything else to say? Uh, not really, but thank you so much for having me on the channel. I had a lot of fun today. Heck yeah. Some very fun games as well. <laughs> Dude, you rock, Oxlip, man. Thank you so much. Um, Thank you guys so much for dropping by the channel today as well. If you like what you saw, be sure and subscribe. Leave some comments below, some likes, whatever you guys need to tell me. Let me know. Take it easy and good luck.